team then in the maroon and white take the field. It's a big day for the club involved in both the under 14A and the minor A final. They will line out as follows as per program. In goal, Brian Deline, full back line, Tony Lynch, Mervyn Dixon and Simon Kelleher. The half line is Dermot Dixon, a brother of the full back and centre back and captain is David Hoy. The left half is Owen Conroy. In the centre of the field, we have Joseph Conlon and Brendan Bohannon. The half line, we have Noel Brody, Tony Perrell and Justin O'Driscoll, son of selector uh, Noel. Full forward line and also son of the selector Brian, Brian Malone, son of Michael John. And at number 14, we have Dennis Maloney, left, Porrick Howard. Every nearly, everything then nearly in readiness for this on the under 14A final for 1990. A big day for the uh, Dora Bearfield Club, as we said, as they take on the defending champions, Wolf Tones, who are in a huddle on the far side of the field. And the game is on. Stalemate in the middle of the field. Centre back for Sir David Hoy sends the ball upfield. A swipe by Brendan Mohanan, but he misses. This is Mohanan still chasing the ball. With the stronger Aaron Skerritt sends it up the field for Shannon. Ball breaks. Joey O'Neill across the field. In toss for forward Stephen Ryan. Still with tones on the attack. The first chance for number nine, uh, Fergus McDonald. Still McDonald is there with the red helmet. A shot in towards the gold. Comes up the stick of Fergus McGrath and it's gone out for a wide. Early attack for Wolf Tones, just 40 seconds gone, first half. The number four, Simon Kelleher, drives it, coming towards the middle of the field. Well held by Aaron. Puts up the hand but doesn't hold. Drives it in again, but it's cleared once again by Simon. Paul Hennan sends it in towards full forward Stephen Ryan. Ryan a shot and Ryan a point. First score of the game. Just over a minute gone, the opening score for the defending champions, Wolf Tones. One. Cut out approaching the 45 metre line, well doubled on by Aaron. It's all Wolf Tones in this early stages. Kelleher drives it. Attitude by Bohannon, but he misses. Comes to Hannon. This is Hannon, a shot. Well blocked inside by Tony Lynch, but the ball goes to ground. Coming out after it is Joey. Ball blocked down. Going for the Bearfield player seems to be upended, but referee waves play on. Gone back to this Tony Lynch. Tony Lynch is dispossessed. And Wolf turns. Fergus McGregor gets a shot in and Fergus sends it over the bar. Two points Wolf turns. No score to the Bearfield. In this very early stages, Dora Bearfield yet to get the ball over the halfway line. It's all with tones. Coming to number 13, Johnny Geary, and Johnny adds number three. Three points with tones, no score, Dora Bearfield. Getting to be a very busy afternoon for Simon Keller with the puck out. For the first time, Noel Brody tries to break away for Dora Bearfield, but he's just possessed. Ball breaks, going back for it is David Hoy, he doesn't get connect comes to Stephen Ryan, the number 14. This is Stephen. Melvin Dixon knocks it away from him. But Stephen goes out again. The number 14, trying to work his way through. Very acute angle. Crosses the ball, going back to David Hoy, the number 6, and captain for Dora Bearfield. Clears it towards the 45 meter line. Added to delightfully. And cleared towards the centre forward, Tony Powell. This is Tony. Upended by Andrew Finley and cleared to the middle of the field. Coming as far as Justin O'Driscoll. O'Driscoll in turns will forward David Maloney. Loses possession. Coming as far as the Perrell. Perrell trying to strike. But Finley comes out the centre back. Very strong player for under 14 and clears it towards the middle of the field. Over there we have Kenny Hughes, but he's dispossessed. Nigel Hughes. And down for it for a move tones. Coming out is Darren O'Connell and he clears it. Not that very far. Still stalemate. And a loose pull there by Justin O'Driscoll and the referee getting a free to the Wolf Tones.
the three. About 60 meters out from his own goal. Paul Hannon. Good strike. Coming down towards the wing forward. Delightfully caught by Joey and sent towards in towards the corner. Number 13, John Geary goes after it but fails to connect. Ball gone out over the end line wide. Coming up in five minutes gone, first half. Three points for the Wolf Tones, no score for Dura Bearfield. Aaron again in the middle of the field. Dura Bearfield finding it very difficult to get the ball up to their attack. And a free there indicated on their captain David Hoy and that'll be a free, a free out to Dura Bearfield. About 48 metres out from their own goal. Hoey himself to play. Going down towards Justin O'Driscoll. He, he doesn't connect. He comes towards the middle of the field. Not a great puck by Bohannon. Comes back to him. He gets the second bite of the cherry. Sends it over towards corner forward. Patrick Howard. This is Howard at number 15. Can he add some impetus to the attack? Dennis Maloney. But he's dispossessed by Hughes. Still met, ball goes in towards Ray Cowley, the captain. Still Dora Bearfield on the attack. But it's cleared by Leonard O'Brien. Comes out to Aaron. Doesn't get to it this time. Added to by Noel Brody for Dora Bearfield. And there's a push on the back. And Leonard O'Brien, and that'll be a free out to the both tones. But 40 metres out from their own goal. Pat Kirby, the number five, to hit it. Up he comes. Good puck, going cross field. Going out for there is Owen Conroy, but he doesn't get it. Coming over towards Joey O'Neill. This is Joey, the number 11. Well blocked down by Jeremy Dixon. Comes back to Joey again. Cross field. Kenneth Hughes, number 10. Kenneth the shot going in towards the goalkeeper. Will it go over his head? It won't. Still made in there. Great save by the goalkeeper. Brian Deleon and he clears it. Not that very far. Going after it is David Hoy. Hoy clears it out towards the far sideline. Gone out for there. It's Fergus McDonald. Sends it across towards Stephen Ryan. Number 14. Oh, it hits the post. And it's a goal. A goal for the Wolf Tones, scored by the number 13, John Geary. One goal and three points for Wolf Tones. Do it there yet to score. Aaron gets it in the middle of the field again. Comes to Joey, the number 11. What a wise move it was to move into the wing. Dambit Dixon is with him, but he doesn't get it. Comes to... John Geary, the goal scorer, in towards full power, the shot, oh, a great chance for a second goal but by Stephen Ryan, but the ball has gone out over the end line and wide. We make it, coming up on eight minutes gone, first half, one goal and three points for the Wolf Tones. Dora Bearfield yet to score. Simon Puxer this time, gone out over the sideline, far side of the field. That would be a line ball to the Wolf Tones. Hannon, the number eight, to take it. Just outside the 45 meter line. Oh, great cut. In towards her forward, Stephen Ryan. Puts his hand up. This is Stephen. Dixon clears the door for Dora Bearfield. Passes the 45 meter line. Conroy is there for Dora Bearfield. He's helped out by David Hoy. Come towards as far as Justin O'Driscoll. O'Driscoll, a member of the there on the 14 team. It did so well this year. But it's the physically stronger uh, Wolf Tones team again that break up the melee in the middle of the field. At Kirby. Down throws Joey. Joey doesn't get it this time. Cleared by Dixon. Ball right in under us. Coming back for his Aaron, the number 16. Aaron strikes. Not that very far. Dixon misses. Comes to Joey and Dixon. Aaron is there. So is Joseph Conlon. Out comes Kirby. Kirby left-handed. Down towards the corner. McGrann Lynch. Lynch gets the better of this tussle. Ball gone off. Aaron out over the sideline. Line ball for Dora Bearfield. 
see Nola Driscoll waving away Joseph Condon and calling out the wing back instead, Dermot Dixon, to take this line ball right on the 45 meter line. A great opening, 10 minutes by the Wolf Tones. Comes to the middle of the field again. This is Hannon. Hannon sends a great ball down towards corner forward. Geary. Geary goes after it, but the ball beats him. Gone out over the end line and wide. <laughs> Referee ordering the full forward line outside the 21 before the puck out by Simon Kellogg. But it's grabbed once again by Aaron in the middle of the field. This is McDonald, the number nine. Boy oh, tries to dispossess him, but he fails to do so. Comes to Ryan. Ryan is shot inside. And it's cleared at the expense of a 65. So 65 then. Hannon strikes. The light first shot. Gone all the way over the bar. Another point to the Wolf Tones. One goal and four points at this stage. And no score for Dora Bearfield. A switch on the Dora Bearfield team. Justin O'Driscoll gone out on Aaron at midfield, trying to curb the bigger man. But Aaron gets the better of it nevertheless. Bats the ball down. Going after it is Joy. Cleared by David Hoy. Coming out it is Noel Brody. Noel pulls but doesn't get it. Aaron again. Aaron Skerritt sends it down towards corner forward. Fergal McGrath. McGrath shot in towards Stephen Ryan. But it's well held inside by Simon Kelleher. Doesn't theater, but he's helped out by Mervyn Dixon. Dixon stays at home. The 65 meter line. Added to by Tony Perrell. But there is the marker he is. Andrew Finley for Wolf Tones. Since down towards Geary. Coming out for Ruth Kelleher. Kelleher not that very far. Kenneth Hughes. Hughes across towards Ryan. Ryan gets his stick to it. Knocks it back in play. David Hoy clears. But it's cleared once again by Mark Johnson for the Wolf Tones. Hoy having a great game at centre back. Getting little assistance though. Still Hoy going on a solo run. But he's fouled. That'll be a free out to do the Bearfield. Substitute on the Dora Bearfield team, number 16. Mike O'Connor going in for... Going in at corner forward, we've yet to see somebody to come off. Gone off to do the Bearfield team is number eight, Joseph Conlon on the far side of the field. Stalemate there. Both tones, Paul Hannon. This is Paul Hannon. Brendan Bohannon stays with him. Coming out to his own Conroy. Conroy gets his shot in towards Peddle. This is Peddle trying to drive it in towards Dennis Maloney. Maloney is hooshed off the ball. Coming back towards Peddle. Peddle trying to drive it in, but out comes Nigel Hughes. Hughes clears it towards the middle of the field. Two both tones players getting each other away. But nevertheless, Joey O'Neill. O'Neill sends it down to the forward, Kenny Hughes. Hughes has got space to move in. Trying to hand pass the ball, but he drops it to the ground. Kelleher comes out for Bearfield. Simon Kelleher, the corner back. Hannon to Hughes. Hughes connects, but not that very far. Going back towards Hannon again. Flash of the ash in the centre of the field. And Hannon to the light. A delightful shot, but it's tailing away to the right of the upright and wide. Puck out once again. Simon Kellogg took the far side of the field, and for the second time this afternoon, he sends the ball out over the sideline. So a line ball, about 40 metres out from the far side of the field. Hannon once again, cross field this time. But there's a bit of tugging, the referee says, and that'll be a free out to Dora Bearfield. A free on David Hoy there. Referee not happy with the positioning of the ball. Hoy lifts and strikes. As we tick over 15 minutes gone, first half, down towards Perl in number 11. This is Perl, cross field. On the 45 meter line. 
a shot inside. Going over towards by Malone. Added to by Perro. But it's cleared once again by the Wolf Tones. This is Hannon. Hannon left-handed. Not a great shot. Going back through the center back. David Hoy. This is David. And he once again he's tackled and fouled from behind and that'll be a free out to Dora Bearfield. Over half the first half gone then, Dora Bearfield seeking yet to score. I see some anxious faces in the Dora Bearfield collector, Fergus McDonough and Noel O'Driscoll, scratching the head down and under me. But it's still all worth on. Kenneth Hughes, the number 10. Hughes going on a solo run. Still Hughes rounds his marker on Conroy easily and then strikes a high ball coming down towards Stephen Ryan the full power. The ball breaks inside. It must be a chance of another goal for the Wolf Tones. A shot and a goal. Another goal for the Wolf Tones. Scored by John Geary, his second goal of the afternoon. Two goals and four points for Wolf Tones. Dora Bearfield yet to score. Referee deemed an early pull there by Justin O'Driscoll and that'll be a free to Wolf Tones, pulling before the ball arrived. <laughs> Hannon to strike once again then. Lovely strike once again. High ball, there's a bit of a tail in it and it's gone to the right of the upright and wide. Over 17 minutes gone, first half then. An uphill struggle for Dora Bearfield. Two goals and four points down. Cut her once again. This time it finds play. Comes to Bohannon. Bohannon strikes, but he's hooked. Gets the second bite. Stalemate out there. Boy one-handed. And out comes Finlay. Harry strikes. Gone back for it is Dixon. Down with Dixon. Strikes it down towards Noel Brody. Noel Brody, the number 10. Seems to be far, but the referee will play on. The physically stronger both tones is beginning to tell. A good challenge there, but Brody was just pushed off the ball. Maybe he might have got a free. However, play goes on. Ball gone out of the sideline. Line ball for Dora Bearfield. Dixon cuts it towards the centre, coming out for his Bohannon, doesn't get it, being helped out by Hoy. Hoy, left-handed, strikes it down towards Brody. Then back for it again, and centre back, Henley, and he feels it. Not that very far, just in a distance, down towards Brody, but he fails to control the ball, and it's gone out over the sideline. Very mad with himself, strikes the ground. Great chance there for Dora Bearfield to set up an attack. Kergi strike this one. Added to by Hannon. McDonald strikes further. Not that very foul. Looping up in the air comes to Joey O'Neill. Joey O'Neill and shot. Going in towards full power Stephen Ryan. Ryan left-handed. Ball gone off the corner forward Fergus McGrath has gone out of the end line and wide. Nineteen and a half minutes gone then, first half. Nora Driscoll runs on and makes more switches on the Dora Bearfield team. Is there anything they can do to get a score before half time? A puck out. Held once again by Paul Hannon in the middle of the field. Top blocked down by Hurry. Hurry has moved to midfield, trying to get something go for Dora Bearfield. But it's Shannon on the attack again. This time it's broken up by Owen, Owen Conroy. Conroy only throws as far as Hannon. And Hannon sends aside towards Geary. Geary is shot. Well blocked inside, well, but it's, is it finished in it? No, it comes up the upright. And it's gone out of the end line and wide. A let off there for Dora Bearfield. Over 20 minutes gone, first half. And it's all Wolf Tones. 
Melvin Dixon tries to puck out this time. Not that very far. Oh, he goes down over and he's foul. There's be a free to go to Bearfield. Such a strike. Sends it out towards O'Driscoll. O'Driscoll. Hand passing it, trying to stick it to the ground. But at last he does too much struggling with the ball and he loses it. Dixon. Dixon bargaining off a uh, work turn there. That'll be a line ball to uh, Joe Bearfield. A lot depending on Driscoll and Hoy to lift Dora Bearfield, but they need more support. Driscoll cuts across field. Hoy puts up his hand, but it's snapped away from him by Carl Hannon. Then back inside by Bill Hannon. In towards Perl. This is Perl, the number 11, gets the shot in. Ball going out towards the corner. Substitute Michael O'Connor going out there. He's dispersed by Leonard O'Brien. O'Brien strikes him. Kirby adds to it. McDonald strikes it again. But coming out for Will Dixon. Two-way pull by Dixon for the referee and that will be a free out to Will Thorne to lift the siege. So two goals and four points to no score as Kirby strikes this one. Still attention going on to Dennis Maloney, the Dura Bearfield full forward. This is Kenneth Hughes. Kenneth Hughes going on a solo run. Easily rounds his marker. Still Kenneth Hughes. Kenneth Hughes, nobody coming to meet him. Hand passes it outside. And a chance for, for Wolf Tones. Ryan a shot. Blocked inside. But Joey is there. Still blocked again by the Dura Bearfield goalkeeper. And he clears it towards down with Dixon, who adds to it. This is O'Driscoll. O'Driscoll, the number 12. Trying to work himself clear. Sends a good ball down towards Brody. Brody, the number 10. Kirby goes back. And Kirby lifts. Doesn't hold on to it. Still Kirby. Left-handed. Down towards Aaron. Awkward stance, but the ball is cleared out of the sideline by Brendan Bohannon for a line ball for the Wolf Tones. Substitute on the Dora Bearfield team, number 18, Padraig, Padraig Maguire is going in. And going off is the injured player, Dennis Maloney. Play continues. This is Dixon. Dixon doesn't clear, still going after it. O'Driscoll is there for Dora Bearfield, doesn't get it. McDonald comes to Hannon. And in the number eight, fails to lift this time, strikes, fails to strike, goes after it. There's a down towards the corner, Geary is there, Geary still working hard, looking for more scores. Here's an inside towards Hughes, the number 10, this is Hughes. Hand passes outside to Ryan, a Ryan is shot, and Ryan a goal. A third goal for Wolf Tones. Just over 25 minutes gone, first half. Three goals and four points for Wolf Tones. No score for Dora Bearfield. <laughs> referee indicating a free, perhaps a push in the back before the ball dropped down. It'll be a free to Dora Bearfield. Padre McGuire then, number 18, in it full forward for Dora Bearfield. Can he lift him and get some scores? Ball dropping. Brian Malone is under it. Still Brian Malone pulls but doesn't connect. And the ball is clear towards the middle of the field. Coming out to is Kelleher. Operating now at wing back. And cleared by Hannon. Hannon down towards Ryan. And McGrath. Ball batted out by Tony Lynch. Not that very far. Coming out after it is Ryan. Stephen Ryan. Left, left handed. But it's held inside by Melvin Dixon. And Melvin 
steers it right out over the sideline. A lot of happy faces there on the Wolf Tones bench. Not that slow in Dorneberga. McDonald cuts it. Ball breaks inside. Bohannon trying to clear. Helped out by Dixon. Comes towards Driscoll. Driscoll clears it down towards Malone. Comes to Carroll. Carroll in number 11. Can he turn his man? Strikes it in towards Michael O'Connor. But out comes Leonard O'Brien with a high helmet. And O'Brien clears it. Added to in the middle of the field. Dixon. Dixon turning his back on it. And cleared by Aaron. Aaron down towards Joey. Then Joey. Joey O'Neill, the number 11. It's a good shot in. Batted out by Mervyn Dixon. Only as far as McGrath. Going across and Simon Keller is there for Jola Belfield. This is Simon clearing it. But only again as far as the Wolf Tones player, Kenny Hughes, the number 10. Hughes is possessed by Hoy. Hoy playing his heart out. Getting little assistance though. Down towards substitute Paul McGuire. Comes out as far as Paddle. Paddle pulls but fails to connect. Brian Malone, the number 13. Deals it down and under us. Coming across where it is Justin O'Driscoll. Can he work something before half time? O'Driscoll lifts but doesn't pick it up and he's hoofed out over the sideline. Too long dilly dallying over the ball. But he wins a, a line ball. Not a free, a line ball. He take it himself. About 50 meters out from the Wolf Tones goal. Justin O'Driscoll to cut this one. Kirby comes out and Kirby clears. Approaching the 65 meter line. Coming across for is Kenny Hughes, the number 10. Hughes mad to go on solo runs and away he goes again. Picks it outside to Paul Hannon. Paul Hannon is shot. Takes a deflection off the fullback Mervyn Dixon. And Mervyn Dixon sends it out at the expense of a 45. As we enter the last minute of the first half then. A 65 at Paul Hannon. Blocked inside. Coming out for Simon Kelleher. Kelleher. Ball gone towards the 45 meter line. This is Hoy. Hoy sends it down towards Malone. And back towards Brody. And Dora Berfield get a score before half time. Before half time. And the ball is cleared once again, however. Dixon. McDonald again. McDonald strikes. Going in towards Ryan. Back goes it goes towards Bohannon. Bohannon towards the middle of the field, but Hannon. Hannon, man of the match so far, strikes it in. Ball batted down towards Ryan. Ryan is shot. Half locked down. And finally cleared by Dora Bearfield. Over towards Kelleher. Hughes dispossesses him. Stale made him there and finally cleared by Owen Conroy. Not that very far. Joey goes out after it. This is Joey's shot. Across towards McGrath. This is McGrath, the number 15. Block shot, block, uh, block down, coming back to the Bohan, the number 9. Into Aaron. Two Dora Bearfield people around him, but still Aaron wins the ball. Into Cleary. Cleary. Into Joey. Joey a shot. Cross the face of the goals and wide. We have just ticked over uh, 31 minutes in the first half. Three goals and four points for Wolf Tones. Referee checking with the umpires. But still he waves play on. Adding on for the injury earlier on to Dennis Maloney. This is Hoy. Left-handed down towards Malone. Malone, the number 13, racing out after it. Strikes, not that very far. Kenny Hughes, the number 10. Strikes it across towards Hannon. Hannon pulls but doesn't connect. Dixon, only as far as McDonald. McDonald again. Into the Aaron. Aaron Skerritt. Ball breaks inside and it's cleared by Dixon. Coming towards the sideline. Gone out over the sideline. Line ball for uh, Wolf Tones. 
Fergus McDonald then as we're well into injury time first half. Cut in towards Ryan and the referee indicates that it's half time. Half time score here in Cusick Park. Wolf Tones, the defending champions, well in command. Three goals and four points. Dura Bearfield yet to score. A man of casting facing Dura Bearfield for the second half. Nola Driscoll really giving out to his players at half time as they throw in once again. Can Dura Bearfield they need early scores at this stage? Or Driscoll strikes it. Ball going back. And this is Hoy. Hoy one-handed. And the referee said he was tapped before he went for the ball, so that would be a free into to Dura Bearfield. First 30 seconds of the second half. Can you recall the opening score for the club? There's a tail in it, tailing away towards the right, and it's gone wide. So then, an early attack for Dora Bearfield. But it's scores they need, and not wides. Puck out by Carley. Coming to Kelleher. This is Kelleher. Helped out by De Hoy. Then lead in the centre back. Comes as far as Brian Malone. Brian Malone, son of Michael John. Strikes it, not that very far. And comes Johnson is there. But the ball is going in. Close up to good part of Maguire. The number 18. This is Maguire trying to box his way through. A shot from Crosby going out for his body. Being helped by Michael O'Connor. But he's beaten to the race by Leonard O'Brien for both tones. Clears it towards the 45 meter line. Dixon for it. Towards centre forward Tony Perl. Perl a shot. Is this the opening score? Across the face of the goal, going towards the end line, gone out over the end line, white ball. Ray Carley then, up he comes. Good strike, coming towards the middle of the field. Aaron is under it, doesn't get it. O'Driscoll is there. So also is Dixon. And the ball is cleared, coming down in under us. A chase on for the ball. Mark Johnson, full both tones, pumps it down. Coming out to his Bohannon. This is Bohannon, the number nine. Small in stature, but big in half. Clears it towards the middle of the field, but Paul Hannon is there. What a thorn he has been in the Dora Bearfield camp today. McGrath. McGrath drives it in towards Kirby. It's knocked out as far as him, but Bohannon clears his lines. Good clear by Bohannon. But it only comes as far as Hannon. Hannon takes a shot, and Hannon gets the opening score of the second half. For the Shannon Club, three goals and five points now to no score for Dora Bearfield. Puckard comes towards the 65 metre line. This is Joey O'Neill. Joey left-handed. Strikes it inside. Going back for his Bohannon. Bohannon. What a lovely little player this is. Down towards by Malone. Quips but doesn't strike. McDonald. McDonald is shot. Going all the way, gone over the bar. Early scores then for Wolf Tones. The exact opposite of what Dura Bearfield needed. Three goals and six points at this stage. As we approach three and a half minutes gone, second half. Joey O'Neill again. It's still all Wolf Tones. Is there anything Dura Bearfield can do? Well cleared by Dixon. This is Hoy. One-handed, trying to clear towards the wing, ball breaks, and the referee indicates a foul on Hoy that will be a free to Dora Bearfield. Hoy strikes. Over towards Justin O'Driscoll. O'Brien comes out though. This is O'Brien, going on a solo run, and then strikes. Great ball. McGrath coming out, trying to turn his man. McGrath cross field towards Joy. Joy has to check, gone back for it. Trying to scoop it up. Now he does. Sends it inside towards Ryan. But it's held inside by a goal by McDonald. Oh, it's gone very one-sided at this stage. Four goals and six points to no score for Wolf Tones. And we're only coming up to five minutes gone, second half. Shockish puck out. Bohannon is there. Pushed off it by McDonald. This is Fergus. Going on a solo run. Pooped. 
Till McDonald is there. Joey is three outside him, but the ball doesn't come as far as him. Joey goes after it himself. Hand passes it. Number eight, Hannon. Hannon is shot, does a bit of tailor, and it's gone to the left of the upright and wide. Four goals and six points to no score. Very one-sided on the 14A final. It seems certain that the under-14 title is going back to Wolf Tones tonight. This is the centre-back, Andrew Fenley. Doesn't clear it that far. Pat Kirby is over there. This is Kirby. Kirby strikes. Great first half he had. Continuing to do so in the second half. Ball breaks. Attitude by Bohannon. Steers it back towards the middle of the field. Brian Malone comes out, swings. Barely touches it. It breaks to him again. This is Malone. Lifts. Trying to get room to strike, and he does. Sends it down towards the left corner. Coming out for is Michael O'Connor, but O'Connor is dispossessed by Nigel Hughes. Hughes strikes it, coming towards the middle of the field. Bohannon is there, so also is McDonald. This is Aaron. Aaron strikes it. Ryan comes out, but doesn't get this one. Comes to McDonald, the number nine. McDonald going on a solo run. Gaps opening up in front of him. Still McDonald loses the ball behind it. And it's cleared by Mervyn Dixon. Justin. This is Justin. Hooped as he strikes. And Hannon clears it back in again. Constant pressure by Wolf Tones. Ryan swings. Doesn't connect. Comes to McDonald. McDonald is shot. Stopped inside by the goalkeeper. Still in play. And it's cleared. Not that very far. Comes as far as McDonald. Crosses the ball. Cross the face of the goal. Danger here. Comes as far as Joy. Joy is shot and Joy a point. Four goals and seven points. To no score. A third substitution coming on the Dual Bearfield team. Number 17, Sean Griffin. Slip of paper being handed in by Fergus McDonough to Jack Ledan. We're still waiting for somebody to go off. Number four, Simon Kelleher, I see. Yes, he's making his way towards the far sideline. Gone off to do the Bearfield team. We continue with the play. Hoy clears it. Ball coming towards the sideline. Very near the sideline. Still Hoy playing his heart out today. Going on a solo and then strikes. Going in towards Horrid Howard. This is Howard at number 15. But the ball is cleared by Leonard. There is Brody. Brody adds to it. Not that very far. And O'Brien once again lifts and strikes. Ball coming towards the 65 meter line. Knocked down. Comes to Hannon, number 8 for Wolf Tones. Hannon left-handed. Comes to Joy. This is Joy. Just after a good score. Into McDonald, number 9. McDonald back to Joy. Joy O'Neill. In shooting range. A shot. Half blocked down. Going back to this Bohannon. Bohannon gives it back to O'Neill. Though, straight into his hand. But he shoots and it's gone to the left of the upright and wide. Eight and a half minutes gone, second half. The puck out by Tony Lynch. Not that very bad, very poor one. Another chance for Wolf Tones, a great stop inside by Brian Deline. Can't be faulted today. And out he comes, tries to clear, but he's dispossessed by Ryan. Goes back again, great work by Deline. Back towards Ryan, the full forward. Ryan swings but doesn't connect, and the ball is cleared out over the sideline. Line ball for Wolf Tones. Aaron Skerritt to number 16, delightfully cut. Locked inside by Tony Lynch, comes out as far as McDonald. McDonald, but the goalkeeper taps it out over the end line for the expense of a 45. A 65 then for Wolf Tones, Paul Hannon. Can he increase their lead? No, he can't. Very poor one. Locked inside by David Hoy, and he strikes a great shot. Down towards by Malone. Malone pulling, but Leonard comes out. And he's well helped by Andrew Finlay, a foul on Andrew, and that'll be a free out to Wolf Tones. This free. About 35 metres out. Leonard O'Brien strikes it, crossing the halfway line. Attitude by McDonald in the air. Sean Griffin, the substitute, with the white helmet. Joey O'Neill is there for Wolf Tones. Still Joey. Griffin tries to block the shot down, but it's blocked by Owen Conroy. Conroy clears it, down towards the middle of the field. Hoey is there, 
so also as Pell. Pell crosses to, to the centre of the field. Bohannon comes out. So also the Black They swing but both miss it. Gone back for it Bohannon. He's hooshed off the ball by the physically strong McDonald. McDonald tries to lift the second time but fails to do so. Oh, a bad pull by McDonald on uh, Tony Pell. That'll be a free up uh, to Dora Bearfield. Eleven minutes gone then second half. Brendan Bohannon. A shot towards the far side of the field. Justin O'Driscoll gets his stick to it. Crosses it inside. Ball breaks. Patrick Maguire pulls but fails to connect. Ball cleared. Comes to Hennon. The number eight. Dispossessed by Hoy. Hoy, nobody there to help him though. And the ball is cleared. Hoy goes after it himself. Crosses it as far as O'Driscoll. Is this their opening throw? No. Juggles the ball but doesn't go to the ground. Brody whips on it. But Johnston clears it. Kenny Hughes, the number 10. Going on a solo run once again. Ball tapped off his stick by, by Dixon. Still stalemate over there. Hughes gets his shot in. Back towards Driscoll. In towards Parik Howard, the number 15. Pauly pulls but fails to connect and Leonard O'Brien, number four, comes out and the referee toots on the whistle seems to be an injury there to Pauly Howard on the far side of the field see Sean Baker running on there for Dirty Bearfield but there's no need Pauly Howard is fit to resume and the referee indicates a throwing ball pulled on comes as far as Noel Brody Brody is there but fails to connect physically stronger again with tones pushing Justin O'Driscoll off the ball, but the referee indicates that that was a foul, so it'll be a free in. Could this be their opening score? 13 minutes gone, second half. We're, we're still awaiting the opening score for Dora Bearfield. O'Driscoll, oh, not a great shot. Low, inside towards Hoy. Hoy just possessed. Nobody there to help him, and Aaron comes out and strikes. Comes towards the middle of the field. This is McDonald, the number nine. McDonald leaves the ball behind him. Bohannon is there. But McDonald goes back and retrieves it for the Wolf Tones. Kenny Hughes. Hughes. Down towards Ryan. But the ball is cleared by Mervyn Dixon. This is Bohannon. Running out of steam at this stage. Physically exhausted. And the ball comes back to Aaron. Aaron pumps it in. But it's held by Mervyn Dixon, the number three for Dora Bearfield. Mervyn strikes it. Coming towards the 45 meter line. Kenny Hughes, the number 10, shot, dropping it in, batted out once again, comes to Joey O'Neill. Joey O'Neill a shot, and Joey a point. Four goals and eight points at this stage, to no score for Dora Bearfield. Puck out once again. Owen Conroy clears, not that kind of hard. Joey O'Neill, very one-sided on the 14A final. Wolf Tones totally in command. The clash of the ash down in under us. Going after it is Paul Hennan, the number eight. Hennan. What a great first half he had. Down towards Kenny Hughes, the number ten. Kenny might go on a solid run. Mad to run with the ball. There he goes again. This is Kenny, the number ten. Working his way into a shooting position. Left-handed. Ball stopped inside by Justin O'Driscoll. O'Driscoll comes as far as Aaron. No one near him and he swipes. Gone back for it. Now he strikes it. Dixon goes up. Dixon bats it down. And O'Driscoll. O'Driscoll clears it as far as Brody. Brody hooshed off it, but he goes back for it. This is Brody. Son of the, of the famous Bertie. Down to Pat Kirby. This is Pat Kirby for Wolf Tones. Dropping it in. Oh, well held inside by Dixon. Down towards the middle of the field. Paul Hennon is there. So also is Andrew Finley. Finley's shot. Not that very far. Driscoll. Driscoll down towards corner foul Malone. But he doesn't get it. Gone back for it is Leonard O'Brien. Leonard O'Brien the number four. Peddle is there. O'Brien gets his shot in nevertheless. This is Driscoll. This is Finley the centre back. Finley going on a solid one. Down the far side of the field. Still Finley on a solid one. Ball goes to ground. Finley still on the attack. Crosses the 45-meter line. 
Out there, Dixon with him. Dixon and Hughes. Dixon pulls. Doesn't connect. Bohannon is there. What a game he's had. Dixon, not that very far. Comes as far as Bohannon. This is Bohannon. Crossing the 45 meter line. Still Bohannon. Strikes it towards the far side of the field. Justin O'Driscoll. Ball very near the sideline. This is O'Driscoll. Trying to be hooshed over it by Andrew Finley. But Driscoll sidesteps him and crosses the ball. In towards by Malone. Malone goes down but doesn't lift. Now he has it. In towards the full power part of Maguire. Ball breaks inside. And Darren O'Connell comes out. And there's a foul on the fullback Nigel Hughes and that'll be a free out to Wolf Tones. Substitute on the Wolf Tones team then, Michael O'Donoghue, listed in the program, now making his entrance. 17 minutes gone, second half. And he will go in at centre forward. We resume with the play. Down towards Geary. This is Geary. Geary the number 13. Blocked down by Conroy. A shot across the goals. Sean Griffin is there. Ball going towards the end line. Not gone out over it. Still in play. Comes back to McDonald. McDonald a shot. Comes off the wing back. A shot. Great side inside. But it's in the net. McGrath goal for Wolf Tones. Good stop by the goalkeeper Brian Deline. But in stepped McGrath for another goal for Wolf Tones. Five goals and eight points at this stage. And Wolf Tones totally in command. Ball back towards the middle. This is Hannon. Hannon left-handed. Blocked inside again. And another goal. Referee checking. No, he's writing it in. Possibility of a square ball, but no. A goal for a uh, Wolf Tone. Six goals and eight points at this stage. It's totally one-sided. Puck out. Aaron. Kenny Hughes. This is Kenny Hughes, the number 10. Trying to turn his mark off. Strikes it across. Comes to Joey O'Neill. This is Joey, the number 11. Hand passes, the ball goes up in the sky and is batted down by Bohannon. Out towards Hughes again, ball gone out of the sideline, line ball for Wolf Tones. Quickly taken. This is Michael O'Donoghue for his first touch. Referee indicates a throw-in ball on the far side of the field. This throw in. About 25 metres out. Not a great start to the afternoon for Dora Bearfield. Seeking a double here today. Well, the under 14 seems to run by them at this stage. This is McGrath for the Wood Tones. In towards Joey O'Neill. Joey O'Neill is still there. Stalemate. Michael O'Donoghue. Ball popped inside. A shot by McGrath on to the left of the upright and wide. Another substitute on the Wolf Tones team, Jason Tracy coming in, number 17. Who he will replace? He's replacing Kenny Hughes. And McGrath is going out to win forward. So it's just a matter of time then before Wolf Tones lift the under 14 trophy once again. This is Aaron. Aaron Skerritt strikes it. Not that very far. Added to. Ball goes inside towards McDonald. But the ball is cleared by Mervyn Dixon. Dixon coming towards the ball coming towards the 45 meter line. Coming out after it. It's Joey O'Neill. Joey O'Neill towards Hannon. Hannon is shot. And a great score by Hannon. Also easy at this stage for Wolf Tones. Six goals and nine points to no score. We make it 21 minutes gone, second half. Pat Kirby at the far side of the field. Blocked by Brody. Hannon go or Kirby goes back. Brody still niggling at him. 
10 metres. And it's worked on on the attack again. Tracy, the substitute, goes out after it, but it's Dixon that clears it for Dora Bearfield. Adam puts up the hand, doesn't connect. Brody pulls, fails to connect. Ball gone off Kirby out over the sideline. Line ball for Dora Bearfield. Oh, work tones considering another substitute as see number 18, Shane McGrath, hugged and ready to come into the fray. The fray. This game, all one-way traffic. Aaron drives a great shot inside to make towards McDonald. Dixon is there. This is Jason Tracy. Jason, the number 12, getting in each other's way at this stage. Dixon, the number 3. Strikes. Ball gone out towards the far side of the field. Paul Hannon, the number eight. Hannon a shot. And Hannon a great point. Six goals and ten points to no score as Shane McGrath makes his entrance. Number 18. Quick puck out for the referee once it retaken. As he is allowing in number 18. Shane McGrath. Going off. Well, we've yet to see somebody going off. Puck out. Justin O'Driscoll calls Hoy. Can they get a score before it's all over? This is Hoy on the 45 meter line. Still Hoy going in a solo run. Looking for support. Taking a shot himself. But there's a tail and it's gone to the right of the upright and wide. 23 minutes gone. Second half. Ray Carley pops out. Matt Johnson, the number seven, dispossessed. Ball gone to ground. This is Leonard O'Brien having a great game at cornerback. This is Leonard going on a solo, bursting his way out and passing it. O'Driscoll comes out of Driscoll strikes, but there's nobody inside. Going back for it is Nigel Hughes, the number three. Ball gone out over the end line. And for a wide. Wolf Tones within six minutes of lifting yet another on the 14 title. Hannon puts up his hand and grabs. Strikes it down towards McDonald. McDonald doesn't get this one. Dixon goes back. Not that very far. Joey. Joey O'Neill, the number 11. Flicks it inside. They're queuing up for scores. Michael O'Donnell, who has shot. Still in play. Going towards the inline. Cross the face of the goals. Coming out is Jason. Jason Tracy. Flicks it inside, but Bohannon is there for Dora Bearfield. Bohannon strikes. Going out for this Paul Hannon. Nobody near him. Tony Lynch comes out, but he flicks the ball around him. Hannon. Strikes it inside. Post target McGrath. McGrath. Shot blocked down by Owen uh, Dermot Dixon. Coming inside. This is Owen Conroy. Ball gone back to Brian Deleen, the goalkeeper. Out towards the far side. It's Joey O'Neill once again. O'Neill flicks it inside towards Aaron Skerrer. O'Neill again, flicking it into the corner to Michael O'Donoghue. O'Donoghue a shot. And O'Donoghue puts his name on the score sheet. Six goals and 11 points to no score. We have five minutes remaining in this game. Irvin Dixon. Brody is there for Dora Bearfield. Gets his stick to it. Comes towards Peril. This is Peril at number 11. Gone back for his Leonard O'Brien. Doesn't get it this time for both tones. Howard adds to it. Michael O'Connor swings. Gets his shot in towards Brian Malone. Can Malone open their account? This is Malone going on a solo run. Busting his way through. Looking for him to swing the stick. Does so. Cross the face of the goal. Goal to a block and clears it, not that very far, still Dora Bearfield on the attack, a shot across the face of the goal, Hoey is there, but there's nobody there to help him and the ball is cleared once again by Paul Hannon, whose leg has tied up and he seems to be suffering from cramp, gone back for his Dermot Dixon, Dixon, but Kirby is there, he's opposite number five, Brody is tackling, still Kirby going in a semi-circle, clears it, and Leonard O'Brien adds to it, down the centre. Aaron Skeller anticipates the break, but doesn't get this one. Comes out to Joey O'Neill, he fails to connect. Leonard O'Brien. 
Hitting it down towards Mike Lodenho, the number 12. <coughs> this is Mike Lodenho. King Strong's his man. Mike Lodenho is shot left-handed, across the face of the goal and wide. We make it three minutes remaining then in the under 14 final. Justin O'Driscoll is there for Dora Bearfield. This is Joey O'Neill. Scarrett puts up the hand but doesn't connect. Gone back for it is Dixon. Dixon left-handed. Straight up the middle but there's nobody there. Only Hannon, the number eight, who pumps it back in again. Ball broken inside. Comes to McGrath. And cleared. Finley. Finley the number six. Swings but doesn't connect. Out comes Dixon. Dixon clears it. Going towards the 65 meter line. Justin O'Driscoll adds delightfully to it. Comes down towards Michael O'Connor. O'Connor inside towards Howard. This is Howard on the attack. Still Howard for Dora Bearfield. Trying to get room to swing his stick. He does. Ball breaks inside. Audrey Maguire is there for Dora Bearfield. Kendall who's in the goal at this stage. Still Maguire. Shot. But it's well saved inside by Ray Callan. And he clears it. Not that very far. O'Driscoll. O'Driscoll with a shot. Going inside. Can they get a score? A, sh a shot is half locked down. But out comes Gavin O'Connor. Tries to clear. Good save inside by Ray Callan. And he clears it. At the expense of a 65. Umpire had his hand up. Stepped out over the end line, a 65. The 65. Yes, the opening score of the game. We make it 28 and a half minutes for their opening score. A point for Dura Bearfield, scored by number nine, Brendan Bohannon. So, Dura Bearfield did get off the knock after all. Quick puck out. Paul Hannon puts up his hand. And suffering from cramp a moment ago. Not as mobile as he was in the first half. Ball break. Come back to Darren O'Connor. This is Michael O'Connor. Connor across the face of the goal. But out comes the goalkeeper, Ray Carley. And Carley strikes it. Close to 45 the line. No Brody. Brody pulled. Seems to be pushed off it as he hit. But the referee waves play on. Leonard O'Brien. O'Brien, ball attitude, comes to Aaron Scarrett, number 16, kicks it. Shot inside, but it's broken up once again. Bohannon, left-handed, towards the 65 meter line. Joey O'Neill, Bill Joey, going on a solo run, being followed by Justin O'Driscoll, but O'Neill runs away from him, walking himself into a scoring position, a shot, but it's gone to the right of the upright and wide. As we enter the last 10 seconds of the game then, referee checking on the watch. And we can expect a, a loud whistle at any moment. It's all one-way traffic. McGrath inside towards Tracy. This is Tracy trying to walk into a scoring position. Tracy is shot. Batted out by Dixon. But McDonald taps it out over the end line and wide. We've gone over to 30 minutes then in the second half. A comprehensive victory for Wolf Tones. The puck out. Referee checks the watch once again. Allows Tego on. Joey O'Neill. Joey a shot. And Joey a wide. And there it is. The final whistle. A very comprehensive victory for Wolf Tones. Final score. Six goals and 11 points for the Wolf Tones who retain their title. Dora Bearfield, just one solitary point. And the winner of the board team, the most of the board team here. Um, I'd like to thank Johnny, Jerry, and Larry McIntyre, and Eric Lennon. Um, I'd like to thank Dora Bearfield for a good game, and hello. I would also like to thank the supporters, 